Hi guys, it's Elise from Six Sisters, and today for my recipe, I am making pumpkin snickerdoodle cookies. Our mom was famous for her snickerdoodles, so we put a fun twist on it with some of our favorite pumpkin flavors. So stay tuned for the full recipe. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any good Six Sisters recipes. So I'm starting with a half cup of vegetable shortening and then a half cup of room temperature butter. Then I've got a half cup of brown sugar followed by one cup of granulated sugar. Next I'm adding one large egg to the wet ingredients as well as one cup of pure pumpkin puree. Then I'm just going to beat these together with my hand mixer. And it's okay if it's not perfectly smooth when you add the dry ingredients, it all combines. So next I've got three and one fourths cup of all purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking soda, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. Next is just a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a half teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just going to mix all of the ingredients together so we can make our cookie dough. It is a little bit thick and sticky, but one thing that I do after I'm done mixing the dough and everything's well combined is put it in my fridge for about 30 to 60 minutes, or if you're in a hurry, throw it in your freezer for about 10 minutes, and it'll help the dough not be so sticky so it's easy to roll because we'll be rolling it in the cinnamon and sugar mixture. So in a separate bowl, I have a half cup of sugar and I added to that a tablespoon of ground cinnamon and a half teaspoon of ground ginger. And I love this because it's not like your traditional snickerdoodle of just cinnamon and sugar. That ginger goes so well with the pumpkin flavor for these pumpkin snickerdoodles. So after your dough has set up a little bit more, roll it into one inch balls and then roll in that mixture and put it on a baking sheet. I am using a silicone liner, but you could just go ahead and put these on an ungreased baking sheet and that would work fine. So put them two inches apart, fill your whole pan, and then you're going to bake these at 400 degrees for seven to nine minutes and they'll come out perfectly fluffy every time. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our recipes and check out some of our other videos that we know you are going to love. Thanks for watching.